Hi, I'm QVC. What we're about to build today is ICM's Battle of the Marne 1914 taxi car with French infantry. And this is a 135th scale. This is basically a diorama out of the box. And for those of you who are not very familiar with the history of World War I, let me give you a brief um, explanation. So, in September of 1914, Germany invaded France. They went as far down to the heart of France and they stopped at the outskirts of Paris at the River Marne. So, the British and the French were about to um, repel the Germans at the River Marne. And so what the French military has done was they bolstered their, um, their infantry by releasing all the reserves from Paris to the River Marne. And they were very ingenious about doing that. What they'd done was they used the Renault taxi cab that were plentiful in Paris. And they used it to transport all the reserves from Paris to the River Marne. And that event was a huge sensation for the French public. Uh, it was such a morale booster for the French to see soldiers in taxi cabs going over to the River Marne that they began to call it Le Taxi de la Marne. And this particular kit represents that. So this is going to be an exciting kit for me to build. So let's go ahead and build this kit right now. Let's go take a look at this box. We have one bag containing all the figures. Another bag containing all the parts for the car, including the wheels and the fender. and the instruction sheet. All right, so we built the model kit, and now it's time for me to show you what I think about this kit so far. Take a look. This is the computer model kit after assembly, and I find this model kit tedious to build. There are a lot of small parts that makes up this model kit, and these small parts make this model kit look really good. So if you're a beginner, I would not recommend this model kit to build because there are so many small tedious parts that would make the beginner very frustrated. However, 
If you're a intermediate or advanced modeler, this kit will will be well worth you for you to build because it is a very nice model kit to build, especially if you like model cars. It's time for me to paint the model. All right, so before we start painting the model kit, I want to focus your attention on to building and painting the model figures first. Building and painting model figures can be quite boring, and so I have a solution. Today, I'm going to use some magic. What I have in my hand is a magic wand, and I'm going to use it to perform some magic. I'm going to speed up the process of building and painting the model kits uh, for model figures for you to actually be more entertained. So I'm going to turn on my magic wand right now. And now I'm going to perform some magic. I want to talk to you more about how I painted my finger, and I'm using this picture of uh, of Saint Catherine of Alexandria, painted by Raphael in about 1507. And this painting is actually, is actually housed at the National Gallery in London. Anyway, um, when I painted my finger, I used the same technique as Raphael did when he painted this particular um, uh, painting of. St. Catherine. 
So what I've done was I first painted the entire figure with the basic colors. Then I focused on the face. If you look at St. Catherine's face, you notice that there's some dark shadows on the bottom of her cheek and it gradually goes to a lighter shade of shadows when it hits the cheekbone. And then from there you notice that there are highlights on the nose and a bright highlight right up there at the uh, forehead. And that's how I painted the, the face of my figure. Then I focused on the, uh, the clothing. And just like Raphael did, um, what he done was he had dark shadows and then he gradually put in lighter dark shadows and placed highlights on there to give this, uh, this three-dimensional look, just like on the face. So that's how I painted my figure, just like uh, Raphael and other uh, painters did back during the day. It's time for me to paint the model. I already gave the entire model a coat of black primer and now I'm going to use my airbrush and start painting the colors for the cab. I'm doing some pin washing. I'm going to do some dry brushing. The model is all finished and now it's time for me to build the diorama. It's time for me to build the diorama. So what you're looking at right now is a trophy uh, plaque that I bought at my local craft store. And I'm going to use this product called Watco Danish Oil to give it a stain. And what I do is simply just rub this Danish oil onto the wooden plaque to give it that nice luster stain. I'm going to add the grout material. What I'm pointing at is a small cup of towel grout and I'm going to use that as my grout material. What you're looking at right now is a custom plaque that I ordered from eBay. eBay offers um, custom plaque 
breaking surfaces, and this is a nice one. This plaque consists of two pieces of brass, this one down here, and another one right on top that's in black. And I like the way the engraver made the name Le Taxi de la Monde. Excellent. Okay, so we built a model kit, we painted it, we weathered it, and we even made a diorama out of it. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you the entire model kit from the beginning to the end. Take a look. This is the computer model kit after painting, weathering, and building the diorama. And I think I've done an okay job. The hardest part was to paint and weather the undercarriage and the running board. The undercarriage consists of many small delicate parts and I could have easily broken them off during the painting and weathering process. So the secret for me was to take my time. By taking my time I avoided breaking the model kit and the best part that I like was to paint the cab itself. Painting the cab red is a nice touch. I think I've done a good job doing that. And of course, adding the figures really helped bring this diorama into historical context. For the French, the Renault taxi cab was symbolic um, for, for the French people during World War I. Um, it really uh, shows that the French can uh, use all their resources to repel their enemies out of their own country. So adding this beautiful custom-made plaque that says in French, Le Taxi de la Man, really helps bring this diorama into a good storytelling scene. And I like it a lot. That completes this model project. What you're about to see is a video slideshow of the entire model kit. But before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a model kit expert. I am not an expert. I'm just a regular guy just like you. And um, for those of you who are shy about building model kits, I would really encourage you to build it anyway. Um, I don't know you, but for those of you who feel that you're not good enough to build a model kit, don't think that way. Just build it anyway. Because in the end, it's all about you. You're not the loser by building a model kit that doesn't look exactly the way that you would like it to be, like others um, on the internet. You're actually the winner because you're, you built the model kit for your own enjoyment. You built it because you had free time and you wanted to spend it on your on yourself. And by building a model kit that you enjoyed, that what counts. You really are the winner. So before I go, um, I want to add a link to a video of the real French uh, Renault taxi cab. Uh, it's a very short walk around of the French taxi cab, the real one. But the only downside is that it's in French, uh, not in English. So, but you know, I think you're gonna, I think you're going to like it anyway. Even though, for those of you who don't know French, you're going to like it anyway. I think in general. I'm QDC, and thanks for watching. Bye bye.